Consumer Electronics Show is back in Las Vegas. It's a hybrid show with in-person and virtual events. Our tech expert Steve Greenberg has a look at some of the innovations this year. This year's Consumer Electronics Show is like no other, but it's still jam-packed with innovation. First up, cats. Not the musical, but the furry kind. <laughs> This is Falaqua Connect by Sure Pet Care. It's a smart water bowl that can monitor the drinking habits of up to 32 different cats. Using the cat's microchip, it can monitor how often, how much, and when they drink. It's important to be aware of your cat's drinking behavior because veterinarians agree a change in drinking behavior can be a serious health indicator. Learn more at surepetcare.com. This is Astro Slide 5G from Planet Computers, the world's first 5G smartphone with a built-in full physical keyboard. This is OWC MiniStack STX. It's a compact must-have device that's a storage system and a hub for Macs, PCs, iPads, Chromebooks, and Android tablets. Just launched and using Thunderbolt 4 certified technology, it is the fastest hub and storage product on the market. Lots of ports and options, enough storage for photography, audio, and video editing. Available at MacSales.com. This is Samsung's Eco Remote. It's a TV remote control made of recycled materials and it can convert the Wi-Fi, routers, radio waves into energy to stay fully charged. Are you worried about the countless reports of smartphones and smart speakers eavesdropping and hearing things they shouldn't? You're not alone. But here's the solution. It's Cradle Block and Talk from Pauzio. It's a wireless charging dock for your phone that also blocks the personal assistant and any of the apps from hearing your voice. So here's a demo. Hey Siri, what's the temperature in Las Vegas right now? No answer. Ah, but if I say, Pauzio, stop. Now ask, hey Siri, What's the temperature in Las Vegas right now? It's currently clear and 6 degrees in Las Vegas, Nevada, the United States. When you say pause your stop, you get a 30 second window when the personal assistant can hear you. When the 30 seconds is up, then she can't hear you anymore. Pretty cool. Now it wouldn't be CES without robots, right? So check this out. This is Yummy Future. I'm told by the team behind this one-armed wonder, it'll be serving drinks and snacks at a coffee house in Illinois in about six weeks. Most of us have standard lithium ion batteries in most of our tech toys, but they are potentially dangerous. Check out a standard lithium ion battery versus the new nanotech organolite batteries. You puncture a lithium ion battery with a nail, yikes, you've got a problem. Heat up a lithium ion battery to 300 degrees, not so good. Nanotech organolite batteries can handle a nail puncture. They can keep working when heated to 300 plus degrees. Now let's talk trash. Orbisk uses artificial intelligence imaging recognition technology to measure the daily food being dumped into the trash. With this information, Orbisk can analyze the food losses and help chefs and restaurateurs reduce their food waste and improve sustainability and profitability. And finally, meet Skippy from Carbon Origins. This little guy is a friendly neighborhood robotic food delivery system that is controlled through virtual reality goggles and with artificial intelligence. Skippy is already picking up and dropping off food orders in St. Paul and will soon expand to Minneapolis later this year. And best of all, you don't have to tip Skippy. <laughs> For more information on this and everything else I've talked about today, go to my blog at stevegreenberg.tv. Thank you, Steve. You can find information about his YouTube gadget game show called What the Heck is That? <laughs> at gadgetgameshow.com. Okay.